Good morning. Let's go wake up McKinnon. I was hoping she would wake up on her own, but it is now to the point where I gotta wake her up now or we're not gonna be able to go today, so. Do you want to see Miss Ashley today? Yeah. And go shopping at the Christmas market. What? I heard that. Yeah, I got some waffles for you. Peanut butter toast. No, we don't have peanut butter toast, but I have waffles. You want pet the kitty? Pet the kitty. So we are back from the Christmas market that we went to, and we also went to Chick Fil A. Um, I didn't film while we were there, I'm sorry. It would have been great vlog footage, but I didn't. Look, I'm wearing two different colored things. We were having too much fun, and I was busy, you know, looking at everything, so we didn't film. Um, it was a fairly nice day, so that was kind of nice, but I thought I would show y'all what I ended up getting. I got three things while we were there. The first is this amazing vintage tree topper it actually goes this way it's in there upside down um, but it'll go on the tree like that it's going on McKinnon's tree you can't really tell in this light but it's actually kind of like a blue-ish color um, but it matches great with her ornaments it'll look so beautiful in there second I got these ice skates Look at these ice skates, y'all. I love these so much. I've been looking for some ice skates to hang. Um, I'm gonna replace these laces with some like really pretty ribbon and hang these up um, just as some Christmas decor. I'll need to clean them, obviously, and make them look a little nicer, but these are perfect. I'm so excited to get these hung up. The last thing I got is actually already in use because I already did what I wanted to do with it which is stick a little bottle brush tree in it and put it in my cocoa bar tiered tiered tray display it's this vintage hey. Santa mug like hey. how cute is that I love these little guys I have another one of these that's even smaller um, but this one was only three dollars or maybe I think it was maybe 350 so I was like uh, yeah getting another one that's adorable and I love how it looks there now I'm gonna go put her tree topper on and see how that looks oh my gosh I love it I love how it looks it looks so much better now with it out of the box like the details are so beautiful and I love how it like goes from like blue to white. It's got like the little ombre effect. It's so beautiful, y'all. I love it so much.
well, I think this might be my new favorite thing. I need to turn on the light. All right, now you can see a little bit better. It's still hard to tell like the green velvet bow on here, how it really sticks out. Now you can kind of see more. So I did like this black and white striped ribbon for the laces. Then I've got this pretty velvet bow. And I did some arrangement there in one of the boots. And I love it so much. It's hanging on the wall along with the vintage skis with the wreath over there. And then right below it, I've got all this stuff. And like I said, eventually I'll do like a full tour. Because there is a lot, y'all. A lot. <laughs> it's color time. Right. Are you coloring a pretty picture? Coloring a pretty picture. <laughs> it's also making dinner time. This is what I'm making for McKinnon. And I'm going to have the leftover fried rice. Yes. Because McKinnon wasn't a huge fan of the rice. So I'm going to have it and let her have what I know she likes, which is grilled cheese. And she's already had a banana and an orange. <laughs> okay. You ready for a bed? You buy? No. No. <laughs> Are you putting on your makeup before bed? <laughs> Gotta look pretty. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. Soaring in the sky, singing in the trees, hopping on the ground. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> hop, hop. Hop, hop. So. I just got McKinnon down for bed, and tonight I thought it would be super fun to share with y'all what I consider to be the perfect recipe for hot cocoa. Tonight I'm making a little bit different hot cocoa. I'm not doing just the normal hot cocoa, but I will tell you what I think is the perfect recipe for regular hot cocoa, and then also what I'm making tonight, which is peppermint hot cocoa. So first up, what you need. I always say it has to be Starbucks hot cocoa because you can't, like this is like the ultimate hot cocoa. Some people say Swiss Miss. This is just like all it for me. For regular hot cocoa, not the hot cocoa I'm making tonight, I always suggest adding cinnamon. A little bit of ground cinnamon on top and then again, after, after, that's weird, you put this on top. Yes, I always say add a little bit of this on top because it just makes it better. And then optional are mini marshmallows. I'm not doing mini marshmallows tonight because I'm making peppermint hot chocolate tonight, which requires a piece of a candy cane not a whole candy cane. You do not need that much to get the peppermint taste in there. You just need a piece of one. A piece of the candy cane for the peppermint hot chocolate. I will still do the whipped cream. I'm also gonna do some Christmas sprinkles just for fun. After it's finished, you'll wanna give it a good little stir because the hot cocoa stuff will sink to the bottom still. This is the fun part. This is also the part where I never know how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> you turn it straight up and down and And then pop it right there and done. How amazing does that look? I cannot wait to drink this. So this will all melt down in and then this will obviously like start melting down in there too. So oh it's gonna be so good. <laughs> Update, my candy cane has already disappeared into the hot cocoa. 